She's back! The future of tennis, Corey Coco Golf, the world's ranked number seventh and the second ranked American on tour, taking on Haley Bapisti. Her parents have to be from Haiti. She has that look. Now, Corey threading the needle here with the forehand, barely in. Haley said, look, I need a review. It looked like it could have been long, but barely grazing the line there. Now, Haley, coming through qualifiers, she took out Pliskova in what was an amazing match. But listen, guys, she's up against... And what a lot of people will say, the best American. I mean, Pagula's been a little bit sluggish lately. And, of course, Coco beat Pagula last month. But listen, guys, Haley, if I'm not mistaken, guys, correct me in the comments. I think she's like Paula Badosa, where she's left-handed but plays right-handed, right? Correct me. If, and I'm pretty sure. I, I thought for a while Kudamatova was like that as well. Uh, but I think Kudamatova, she's, she just plays with both hands. She's just that good. But Coco gets it done in the first set with a double break. Coco has two aces, guys. Struggling to get her first serves and play 56%. I mean, that's like an Iga Fiontech type of number. 86% winning on her first service, uh, first service points. Winning 50% of her second service points. Perfect on breakpoint opportunities. Now, Haley has had a few opportunities to break Coco, but she couldn't get any of them done. 0 for 3 only getting 40% of her first serves in play, only winning 30% of those, 33% on the second serve. Coco's is too fast and athletic, guys. Now, a lot of people forget Coco did win a championship this year. Yes, that's right. She started the year off winning Auckland. And look, she took off some pretty solid competition. Tatiana Maria, who's just amazing spin, good defensive player. Big game, Sophia Kennan, slam champion. Lin Zhu, who's just an amazing shot maker all the way around. She took out Denka Kovinic former amazing junior and she took out Rubika Masarova from Spain now listen guys Corey Coco Goff is she gonna win the tournament now I did the poll a lot of people f seem to think that uh other players could win now I can only add so many uh faces there which is why I picked you know the top four players there but a lot of people think Jennifer Brady might win now listen I'm a huge Jennifer Brady fan remember she made the finals there against Osaka at the Australian Open now later in that year uh, she would actually get a bagel from Coco and she would get injured. So Coco, before the injury, was the last person she played. And uh, was that the French Open, if I'm not mistaken? Coco destroyed Jennifer Brady. Now, th this should put in perspective how good Coco is. She's really good, but I do think, look, just watching her for so long, she's changed her game. She used to be a lot more strategic, much more tactical. Now she's much more offensive-minded, and uh, I don't really see her building the point i see her just really going to try to hit through opponents playing a lot faster i would love to see her slow down a little bit uh use her iq she's a very intelligent tennis player and just watching her come up she was a lot more strategic uh i just think as she's getting older she's putting on muscle she wants to hit through people but that's not a good recipe uh if, if coco can just go back to how she used to play we'll see she's got a new coach and I think she's got a chance to win this tournament. Let's just be honest with you. And I think she's got a chance to win the U.S. Open. Yes, yeah, she's Coco's one of the favorites to win the U.S. Open. If I if I'm not mistaken, she's uh one of the top five players they're picking to win the U.S. Open. Of course, uh, defending champion Ika Shantek's number one, and then uh, two I want to say is uh, Sabalenka. Elena, Anjabor, then Coco, something like that. But listen, guys, let's head back to D.C. Coco takes the first set, 6-1. How bad is the second set going to be? Can Haley make this a match? Because right now, Coco's popping out some fresh fruit, and that's not a good sign. She's getting those electrolytes in her system. She might run off a bagel. Stay tuned.